you ready? Are you ready to go? Oh my gosh, we're so excited. Let me see your collar. Let me see it. Let me see your bandana. It's super cute. We're trail running. We need to go eat. We need to eat. We need to eat your food so you have energy. But you want to go? You want to go? Oh my gosh, she's so excited. We are almost ready. Turn around. Got my pack on. Got my socks. We are climbing. Mountain. We're gonna go to the top in the clouds. You and me. I know, we're going. Okay. All right. It's Sunday and it is about 10 o'clock and we are out for a 22 mile run and we are going to go to the top of that mountain. Head into the top. Okay, we are almost to the mountain. So this mountain is actually um, called Mount Canoctai and it is a volcano. Um, they say it is active, but I, you know, when you look at the other side of this, um, there's this big gaping hole from the last time it erupted, which I don't know the date of when that was. <laughs> I'd have to look it up, but it's pretty amazing story behind it um it's beautiful um i'll have to um show you guys the other side of mount connecti when we're on the other side of the lake but it's pretty massive it doesn't do it justice right here because this isn't the good side to see but um anyway we have a volcano where we live and hopefully it doesn't erupt anytime soon <laughs> but um we're gonna climb to the top of this thing area which is about three quarters of a mile <clears throat> that's usually where you drive up and you start start your hike from the parking area it's actually the first time that I hiked from the very bottom of the, the mountain it's actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be so that's cool all right we're still moving I would have brought a jacket to put over. Yeah. Hold on. So much better. Okay, 
Sorry I look like a mess. I've been sick the past few days. Just now getting over it. We went grocery shopping this afternoon for the past two hours. <sighs> and um, went to two stores. And I wanted to show you some of the vegan foods that I found that I'm really excited about. Um, we also got some non-vegan things for the girls and stuff. But I'm going to show you the vegan items I got. Um, these are things... Some of these things are things that I get all like every shopping trip. So let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay. Um, Kodiak cakes. These are so good and they're packed with protein and whole grains. Um, so it says you could make these with milk and an egg or you could use water or you could use almond milk. Um, so you can make pancakes or waffles with these, but Kodiak cakes, um, for those of you who haven't tried, 14 grams of protein in a serving makes like three, four inch um, pancakes, only three fat, four fiber, um, so really, really good stuff. The ingredients are super clean, um, has wheat protein isolate um, in here for protein. So this stuff's super good. I found I found this at my um, discount grocery store. Um, our grocery outlet we have in town has tons of vegan plant-based items, which I am just so happy about. Um, but I got this there, so I got this actually for a pretty good price. But sometimes you can find this at Costco also. Um, I got some whole wheat pasta, um, enchilada sauce. I got some dark chocolate chips made with 55% um, cacao. And these are sweetened with stevia, no sugar added. Um, so, so on the ingredients it has unsweetened cocoa, erythritol, um, organic soy le lecithin, and vanilla extract, stevia extract. So pretty clean. Um, these are just nice. So. For 60 little chips, it's only 60 calories, and um, it has four grams of fiber. So it's actually a pretty cool snack if you're having a sweet tooth craving. Having a little handful of these after a, a dinner or something is pretty smart choice. Um, if you have a sweet tooth, put this in oatmeal, um, bake with it. Um, you can put this in your shakes, I guess, your smoothies or Sky's the limit. Anyway, I got a bag of these. They're not cheap, but they're good. What? Okay, I'm gonna make dinner. Hold on. This I'm super excited about. I got this at Safeway. Um, it's a hummus. Mm, focus. Hummus dressing, uh, roasted red pepper, and it's only 35 calories for two tablespoons. Only one gram of sugar. Um, Let's see what the ingredients are. The ingredients are chickpeas, fire roasted red bell pepper, puree, lemon juice, olive oil, tahini, smoked paprika. So pretty clean. Um, this was like $5 for this little thing. So, you know, you have to pay for, you pay for what you get pretty much. Um, if you're going to want to eat clean, clean foods, you might have to pay a little more, but it's worth it. So this is dairy, dairy free, preservative free, gluten free. Um, so we'll see how it tastes. I'll let you guys know in the description, but I might have this tonight over some salad. I'm really excited to try that out. All right, I got some refried beans, um, vegetable base, garbanzo beans, that's a staple in our house. Um, all beans are staple. Kidney beans, more refried beans. Um, Kodiak cakes. This is they also make oatmeal. This is like a instant oatmeal. Um, just add water and go. Um, one of these is 230 calories and 14 grams of protein, 37 carbs with three grams of fiber. So, um, and again, the ingredients are rolled oats, pea, pro pea protein, cane sugar, um, brown sugar, maple syrup, whey protein isolate. Pretty clean. Um, so. Good, good stuff. Got one of those to try. More garbanzo beans. I got ground ginger. That's also a staple in our house. 
And then I got veggie chips for the girls. We get those veggie sticks and really like them. There's some other stuff that I don't need to show you guys. Okay, broccoli. Boom, boom, lots of broccoli. I love this peanut butter. Collagen, peanut butter from Wild Friends, vanilla flavor. Oh my gosh, made from vital proteins. I think I've shown you guys this. Collagen benefits, healthy bones and joints, helps your skin, helps your hair, helps your nails, promotes gut health. Really, really good stuff. And there's nine grams of protein per serving. So, really good stuff. Sorry, my kids are losing it, so I gotta hurry. Cauliflower rice, that's a staple in our house. You can make curry with this, you can just use it any way you would use rice. You could use that. Um, big, giant bag of sliced strawberries for shakes. Now, this I'm pretty excited about. Um, I got this at my discount grocery store. Healthy cho Choice Power Bowls. They plant-based. It's This is a cauliflower curry. Has lentils, cauliflower, chard, kale, spinach, brown, brown and red rice, red quinoa, black barley with a spicy curry sauce. Sounds so good. So this would be great when I'm at work and I'm in a hurry to eat one of those. I also get these plant-based Beyond Meat pizzas. Um, they have Beyond Beef crumbles, cauliflower crust. They're really good. They taste like like real pizza. Um, so if you're craving pizza but you're vegan and you're like, oh, I can't have pizza because the cheese and all this stuff, this is a good option. I don't eat these often. I try to eat, you know, whole real foods. I don't like to eat the, you know, the already made packaged stuff very often. But when you're in a hurry or if it's been a long day and you don't feel like cooking, you know, it's okay to have some of those nights where you have that stuff. So another one is a Kashi Pesto Chickpea Quinoa Bowl. Excited about that. That looked so good. And I got another one of the cauliflower curry bowls. And then I got a Chana Masala Chickpeas, Brown Rice, Herb, Vegetables, and a Tomato Sauce Bowl. That one's vegan also. Some lentil vegetable soup from Amy's Soups. Got two of those. I got three things of coconut milk. That's another staple in our house for making soups or um, curries. Okay, let's move right along. I got a big thing of spring mix. Bananas. Um, mushrooms. Um, I got a thing of hummus, which is, oh, leaking. Oh, shoot. It did not package this well. Anyway, thing of hummus. Um, extra firm tofu, that's a staple of mine. Fresh basil for pasta. Um, Cilantro is another staple when you're making like burritos and stuff. Cilantro is good in guacamole. Um, organic, unsweetened shredded coconut. I put this on oatmeal or in shakes. It's a great source of healthy fats. Um, and when I'm running as much as I am right now, you need those healthy fats. Um, what else we got? Oh, goodness, we're moving. Sweet potatoes. Really good for you. I got two packs of whole wheat, um, chia and quinoa tortillas. I'm gonna try those out, sounded really good. Have uh, a lot of fiber in these. Um, Vans blueberry waffles, these are so good. They're gluten-free people. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, colors, or probarba depths. So these are so good. They're like a little more dense than your normal waffle. And they're a little higher in calorie. They're 210 calories for two waffles. Um, but they're really good. Okay, really good. So I eat those in the morning. Oh, and butternut squash is one of my favorite things in the world. You can roast this in the oven or you can make butternut squash soup with coconut milk. Um, and put a little like curry powder in that, a little ginger. So good, that soup is so, so good. I'll have to do a video of making that soup because 
It's so good. So I'll be making that this week. Oh, shucks. Peaches. She got so much stuff. Frozen raspberries for my shakes. Um, big thing of baby carrots. And I think that's it. Oh, and I got a thing of fresh ginger to grate. So good for you. And one avocado for tonight because I don't, I feel like having avocado tonight. I got all of this for about $200. I had to go to two stores. So some of this is not like I got pudding for the girls. Um, graham crackers, mac and cheese. So some of this isn't vegan, but majority of this is. I also got yogurt, they like yogurt. But um, yeah, all this for 200 bucks, pretty healthy foods. Um, so like I said, um, I've been doing vegan for probably close to a year now and I don't crave meat at all. I don't crave dairy. I don't crave any of that. My skin is clearing up. Um, I feel like the energy I have is so much better. My running has improved. Um, it's really been a game changer for me. So anyway, with that, I better go make dinner and put all this stuff away. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to see more videos like this, um, and please press that subscribe button and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.